Yeah. <laughs> Morning, everyone. Morning, my baby Raphael. Hope you're all doing well. I know we've all had shocking news this week, but it's just the way of it. So before we start, I just want to say about them stars aligning this week, or today, tonight, right? I want you all to get out. It's supposed to come about just about half an hour after sunset. You've got to look to the southwest. It's the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn, right? And you've got to look to the southwest. <laughs> so look where that sun rises, and you know in your own heart where the sun sets. So you can go east and west from that. Um, it's a conjunction. It's called the, the Great Conjunction. It's supposedly the same stars as what was out on Christmas Day, like when Jesus was born. And I think, I think that's sort of our lesson today with what's going on, is that we have lost the meaning of Christmas to us. And I've, I'm up there with you. It's about family. It's about presents and celebrations and having fun. And poor old Jesus, baby Jesus, has sort of like got left by the side by a lot of us. Not all of us. I say that, not all of us. So, A, it's the most amazing thing that's going to come in our lifetime, even though they say it's going to come again in 60 years' time, but I certainly won't be alive then. So, it's a momentous time for us to get out. And I think if you can get out and look at them stars, Again, these are only my faults, only my uh, random stuff. I just think it's just a, a, an amazing thing. And don't forget, with this star alignment, it's supposed to be the starting of something really good. It's starts, supposed to be that the Messiah, the Maya Treya, someone really special is supposed to come from this. So I shall wait with bite your breath, with bite your breath and look forward to what's coming for us. So... Let's get on with our meditation now. Before we start, I'm going to put a bubble of white light protection around us individually and around us as the sole family group that we are. And I want you to be nice and relaxed in your chair. Three deep breaths before we start. And off we go. start walking up our path. It's a beautiful day. The sun is out. There's warmth on our backs. There's a gentle breeze. The bunnies and the butterflies. The bees, the birds, all out singing, almost saying hello to us all because we're like old friends now. And we wend up that path, nice and relaxed, and we come to our grey dustbin. The dustbin where we offload all last week's worries, all of last week's fears, all of what we consider that we didn't do good enough, everything that's upset your psyche, everything that's upset you at all, put in that grey dustbin. Of all the weeks that we don't need to carry our loads with us, this is the week. So make sure every fear, every worry, every berating of yourself that you do is in that dustbin for this week. And in that dustbin, you put your lid on really, really tight because we don't want anything popping back up this week. When you put enough in that dustbin, don't worry if you feel that you've got enough rubbish to fill 10 dustbins, <laughs> then dustbins are bottomless. I mean, we can pull more in, but they are actually bottomless. And if from people that have wrote to me that you worry about how much you've got to give in there, don't worry. The angels have got lim unlimited access to all our fears and worries, and they take them and they absorb them, and then they transmute them back into lovely positive faults. So don't worry about what you're getting rid of. And we carry on up our path. We surreptitiously look at our brown dustbin of secrets that we will visit, but we're not going to visit that till next year now. Right, and we carry on up the path, taking deep breaths of air as we go. And 
and then we turn the corner, the last corner, and there's our beautiful tree waiting for us. It's like the air is rippling through all the leaves in anticipation of our coming. And we enter in to our secret entrance of the tree. And once in the main trunk, we give each other a group hug, a physical group hug. And everyone feels that much better for having a physical hug. We unfurl roots from the soles of our feet, let them drop down. Actually, we're gonna walk down there as well. But in the meantime, unfurl those roots and let them curl around your favorite crystal. But we are actually this week going to descend into the, tree, into the roots of the tree where all these amazing crystals are here to accentuate our work. And get yourself comfortable in there. This week, we're going to send all our love and healing to the world, to the people of the world, to the animals of the world, and to the earth itself. It's absolutely going to encapsulate absolutely everyone and everything, whether you think they're inanimate or not. The rocks, the mountains, the sea, the rivers, us as a as a a unit, us as human beings, the animals, the fish, absolutely everything there is going to get unlimited love, unlimited healing and unlimited forgiveness. We're not picking out who we send our healing to, we're doing it as a general thing and it's going to be really powerful. So brace yourself and get ready. Unlimited love, unlimited healing and unlimited forgiveness to everything, everyone, and the whole planet. And I should leave you doing exactly that.
yourself the same love and healing and forgiveness that you've just given to the whole of the planet. to come back, unfurl those cords that you've dropped from the soles of your feet and wrapped around the crystals, draw them back in, we thank the crystals for their amazing work and really weird the crystals thank us back for enabling them to help us do their work. Up we come, up to the trunk of the tree. Another huge group, family group hug. We all know we have just done amazing work. We've been doing amazing work this entire year. There's love and appreciation for everything and everyone in our work. So we thank the tree, the tree thanks us. And out we come, out of our secret entrance, ready to face the world. And we come down our hill, out come down our path, past the brown dustbin, past the grey dustbin. And we always give that dustbin our thanks because such an easy tool to use to get rid of unnecessary fears and worries. And we carry on back down our path, still appreciating the, the air and the sun. We hold our hands out to absorb the energy that the earth gives us so freely. And then you find yourself back in your chair, the chair that we started our journey with. So nice and relaxed, three deep breaths. You're back. Well done you, well done you. Fantastic work. Even though you might not be physically aware of what you're doing, you are adding to all the positivity that we need to put out there in our world of today. And I applaud all, each and every one of you for coming along and doing this valuable work. You all right? You're back? Right, cards for today. See if I can get it right this week. First of all, I'm using the energy cards from Sandra and Taylor. And the card that came up with this week is community. Couldn't be more apt, could he? And I don't know if you are aware of this, when several or hundreds or thousands of people join their intentions together, the power of that intention it increases so vastly, I can't even put numbers on it. So the community is that we have to go back to community life. Right? We've all become individual, we've all become estranged. We have to come back to know that the community the community is where we belong and where we're supposed to be and we're supposed to be helping each and every one of us in our own communities. The second card, again two cards popped out with this one. This is my healing with the fairies uh, by Doreen Virtue and one of those is visualisation, right? Now, Visualisation, people think that they can't do it, but they can. Just just be happy with what you get. Don't be striving for amazing colours and I can picture every single thing that I'm thinking about. Um, just picture that you've got a healthy, abundant and meaningful life. If you've got them things in your life, I don't know how much more that you need, actually. So 
practice that over the holidays that you get good at your visualization practice. And the other card that came out at the same time was kindness, right? Practice that every single day of your life. It attracts loving people to you. Um, but within that, don't be frightened to be kind to yourself because you're not last on the list with absolutely everything that we do. And it always reminds me of Daniel Whitaker's um, quote that he put on, which I've used several times. Be kind to past versions of yourself that didn't know the things that you know now. So it's just sort of saying, be kind to yourself. We all make mistakes. We've, there ain't a single person in the world that hasn't done at least one thing that they regret in their life. So with the COVID thing that's coming, just grit your teeth and get on with it. There's nothing that we can do to change how it is other than stay at home. Right? I know it's not what everyone wants and I know if there's ways around it, even if it's just for that one day to be with your family, that one day is a gift because us in tier four haven't got that gift. Right? But don't rail against it. Just think it's for the benefit of us all because we are all keeping each other safe in that. I know you don't want to. I know you want to go out and party. You want to be with your family and all that game. But... There's always another day to do that. There's always another time that you can do that. At the moment, we need to get this thing under control, otherwise we're gonna be here. I'll be doing this same stuff this time next year, which I, <laughs> I really hope that I don't, uh, not that I don't like doing it, but I just wanna, I want that to be gone. And we have to help it to go. It's not going on its own. It's, a, it's, another, it's another community thing. Keep your community safe. Even if you don't believe it, think about the other people who do believe it. Right? I'm not going to sermonise you on anything to do with that. Whatever decisions that you make about what you're going to do over Christmas, make them and just get on with it. If it's staying at home, stay at home. It's not the end of the world. I know it sounds vain this, but at least you've got a home to be in. There's people out there that ain't even got nowhere to live. So even though you might be grumpy, just be grateful for the things that we have got, for the food that you've got on the table, for the warmth of your house, and for the love that you've got from everyone around you. Because we are all loved. We are all loved, even though it's varying degrees within it. So just try to make Christmas as good as you can. That's all that anyone can do. So thank you to our amazing nurses and doctors and cleaners and carers and everyone who's trying to help people that are suffering with the COVID, right? Because especially like the nurses and the, all of them lot, they know what they're going to every time that they go to work. And that takes real grit and real determination because I'm sure all of them would rather be at home in front of five with a cup of hot chocolate but it's not, you know, and like I've said before, they do this work for love. Obviously there's a little, and it is a little bit of money in it, but that's not their driving force. And if we can make that our intention in life, that we do everything for love and with love, we will make this place a beautiful place to be in. And in fact, last week, after our talks last week, I watched Grand Designs and there was a young couple going to, I think it was called Lammas or something like that in Wales, where you had to be totally self-sufficient. They gave you five years to get there. But all them things that we were talking about last week, about doing things in a community, they are already happening. Us lot in the 70s, we all got, we all thought, oh, look, we need to save the planet and all that game. And then we all got stoned and forgot about it. The youth, the youth of today are out there and they are doing it. They are being the change that we want to be. So <laughs> follow your youth's example because they are doing it right and they're doing it real. Anyway, enough of my stuff today. Thank you everyone. Thank you all of us that are doing our little bit out there. Every single one of us in our own unique ways. So close your energy centers down now your crown, your third eye, your throat, your heart, your solar, your sacral, and your root chakra. Don't shut them, just wend them down like a balloon just coming the opposite way of opening up, right? 
put your coat on, put your hood on, make sure yourself feel that you're very safe wherever you go. But the minute that you get out there, open that heart chakra right up again. As much love as you can give. Unlimited love to absolutely anyone and everyone that crosses your path. I know that your smile will make loads of people happy or the happier for having received it. Right, these are free gifts, we can give them away as much as we, as we like, but the rewards for them is fantastic. The more love you give out there, the more love that you're gonna get back yourself. <laughs> right, so stay alert out there, stay safe, look after and look out for each other. I've told you, people that get depression hide it. Deep, deep, go in past the little bit that you can see there, look into their soul and see who needs help and give them as much love as you can. Love and encouragement, all right? So have a great Christmas, as great as you can. It might not be the Christmas that you want, but it's the Christmas we've got. So just make the most of every single minute of us. Make the most every single minute of it, all right? So happy Christmas. Hopefully next year, we'll be ready for bigger and better things in our life. I won't be back till next year now. <laughs> you might all go, woo, thank God for that. <laughs> anyway, bye-bye my baby Raphael. Nanny Island loves you. The whole world loves you. And the whole world, we've got to love each other. We've got to all love each other. That's all there is to it. So... Please share these videos if you can. If I help even one person out there that's not a regular listener, that would be really great. So I'll put them on YouTube also as a record under Eileen's Crystal Singing Bowl Meditations, as, you're, as you know by now. <laughs> so take care of each other. Stay safe. As I'm always saying here, if you feel wobbly in a situation, walk away from it. No, no rules to stop you doing that. And remember what I say every week, spread love wherever you go. Let no one come to you without leaving the happier for it. And my little Christmas poem before it, we're over, one day at a time it's called, look to this day for it is life, the very life of life. In its brief, brief course lay all the verities and realities of your existence, the bliss of growth, the glory of action, the splendour of achievement, for yesterday is but a dream, and tomorrow is only a vision. But today well lived makes every yesterday a dream of happiness, and every tomorrow a vision of hope. Look well, therefore, to this day. And that was by someone called Kalidisa. So, happy Christmas everyone. I love you all. Take care. See ya. <laughs> some Monday next year. I don't even know what the date is. Take care. Bye. Bye, Raphael.